January went, so I'm kind of joined in progress here. I kind of got ahead of myself, but forgot what I was doing. I went ahead and added my light solutions and coconut milk and can clay to both of my pots here. And I don't know, I just kind of went out of order today. So I'm just gonna start the video here. So what I'm gonna do with this first pot is I'm going to split it up into rainbow colors. But I am going to add a little bit more of it into this other pot eventually. All right, so I'm gonna split this one into the six colors, obviously. I'm gonna start by pouring to approximately the one liter mark. And I can add to it if I want. I do wanna add some of this soap to the other container because that was something else I did. I kind of changed my my mind on how I was going to operate this batch from when I prepared it. It's not going to be scented in this part for the colors. Okay, that looks good. There's not much left in this pot. I'm just gonna set it to the side for now. I'm gonna work with some neons and a little bit of regular mica also. I think I'll just give these a little bit of a blend.
right, now into this one, I'm going to incorporate charcoal. This is going to be a black soap. I'm going to post a link down below for uh, the link I followed to make, or the, kind of the instructions I follow to make a black soap. If it comes out a little charcoal, I am okay with that. Get my spatula in here. Get everybody mixed up, join in the party. Wow, that has really set up. For not being scented. Okay, so now I'm going to add in the fragrance oil. And I'm using a Fruit Loops type. It's almost what I, I have enough, but I decided I'm gonna cut it back just a smidgen. I've been wanting to try a black rainbow soap and I've just been thinking about what kind of fragrance I wanted to use and I remembered my Fruit Loops likes to turn dark. So I thought, you know what, that would actually be a pretty fun way to use Fruit Loops. It was in a black soap. All right, so I'm going to get repositioned here and then I will be back for the pour. Now the first thing I'm going to do is add some black in here. Quite a bit, actually. And then I'm just going to start adding in the colors. to save just a little bit for the top.
So this is why you add your milks and clays and all that in ahead of time and get that all mixed into your oils if you at least whatever you're going to mix in your oils go ahead and get that done before you add your light solution so every now and again you know even seasoned soap makers can lose their noggin so this is me losing my noggin of it today but often I find that everything still turns out a-okay and so you know what we're not going to worry about it I say that a lot because you know soap making rarely goes as I want it to go and you just kind of have to have that easygoing mentality it is frustrating sometimes when it doesn't turn out as you want it but there's more important things in life so let's just be happy about it and look forward to what happens as a result I totally did the wrong color not that it's gonna matter in the long run Hooey, you are thick my friend I'm sure some of you are saying, black, what in the world? Well, charcoal tends to do a pretty good job at not um, creating black lather. Now, it may kind of bleed out some black in the soap dish, or if you just leave it sitting on the edge of a sink or whatever, it may go ahead and bleed it out a little bit. But typically, the ladder is still white. Now I would suspect that in some cases, I guess we're, we're going a little high up. This one's a little bit more pory than the other one. I'm just going all willy-nilly here. Anyway, there's still the possibility with a really black soap that you're going to get some charcoal colored lather. For this one, I used neons kind of as my header color as in, instead of the complimentary and let my micas be the complimentary. I tend to work with just some main colors that are my favorite and just mix and match with each other and that's how I get different colors. So all black soap over here is getting pretty thick and this uh, fragrance does really thick it up but we've done pretty good blending today If you're thinking, my word, this is sort of a disaster, don't worry, I'm thinking it too. I just kind of messed this one up. The six P's, that's what my husband always says, the six P's. And it does kind of have a swear word in it, so I won't say it. 
but basically it's prior planning prevents mm, poor performance it's another p word i don't want to say in case there's little ears Oh, my hand is exhaustedly tired here. This is quite thick still, but I'm gonna go ahead and attempt my swirly whirly. The thicker it is, the more swirling you can get away with, so sometimes it's not a bad thing. I'm debating. I'm just gonna go back and forth now. And if this is too much, then we will acknowledge the situation later. over to another counter and wall it bit down pretty good. Gonna spend some time just scooping out the last bits here and I will either speed it up or just come come back to it. I'm just going to give it a little bit of an even out with the spoon. So I'm feeling like I love it right now. So we'll just have to see how it goes. If it doesn't turn out, you won't even be seeing this part. So if you're seeing this, then it means I'm happy with it in the long run. Ha! It's so perfect! Oh my goodness. Rainbows drive me a little bit bonkers. I love them so much. Basically, these, this whole rainbow situation is just like making my entire month. I'm so happy. I'm just hoping the inside looks awesome too. This black and orange makes me think of the Ronan Chiefs. That's where I'm from in Montana is Ronan and the local high school, the Chiefs. It's on an Indian reservation, the Salish Kootenai, or maybe it's just called the Flathead at this point. Indian Reservation. I don't remember. I will attempt to put in wording just so that I am not butchering that whole thing up. It always makes me think two of the like red, not the red, but the orange and the black woolly worms. Yes, awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna go with this because I really, really like it. And I'm definitely taking my rainbow glitter and just giving it a spritz. 
a holographic glitter type, which is, this is kind of a holographic just because it, well, it really is holographic. Um, always looks so good on black. Very, gets very intergalactic. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty excited guys. I'm pretty excited. So, the whole idea is the Fruit Loops scent, uh, Fruit Loops type, fruity rings, fruity cereal, whatever you want to say, um, it's going to discolor. So, the black should really play with that really nicely. So, I'm excited for this scenario because I do love this Fruit Loops type scent. Alright guys, so here we have the Fruit Loops type soap and I will see you back here for the cut. Alright, so I am here to cut the Fruit Loops type soap. I think the top turned out so pretty. I love those neonish colors. I've got a pretty decent black here. I was a little concerned when I unmolded because the ends were and the edges were a little bit brown. That was more from just the swirling to the side of the mold. So I do really, really like how this one turned out. I think it is a real winner and it smells so good. Just that Fruit Loops type scent is just coming through and it's just so uh, citrusy and cereal-like. I love it. And I first soaked this scent ages and ages and ages ago. Like I was very much a beginner soap maker and it turned tan which was okay but I didn't really like it. So I've tried other scents since then and I just haven't had any that really, I don't know, they were kind of weak on the Fruit Loops thing. Not pretty. I love it. And so I really did just give up on that this scent for quite some time. I do have a really good customer that absolutely loves this scent. And so she has been asking me for a very long time to make it. And that's why I did a test batch recently that some of you might have gotten samples. But I did still decide that that wasn't my favorite design. It just irritates me to have it turn tan. I just, I don't like that. So, I decided to do it in this black soap to just kind of hide that fact. So, if you're in the same boat as I am, then I just really think you should do this. Look at that top. Isn't it so pretty? I love it. It's just this wave right here is just so smooth and fun anyway mm. and then doing the hanger swirl like that if you guys do try this i'm like totally giving you my stamp of approval on this if you try this with the fruit loops and everything give me a shout out so that i can see it because i'm adoring this and i just think we need to rule the world with this now since I made this, which it is Friday, and I made it on a Monday, I have since seen <laughs> huh, black soaps with various, I haven't like seen seen them, but I've had people tell me that, oh, here's one, here's a black soap. I wasn't copying anyone, I hadn't seen this done other than, okay, I'm going to give a shout out single barrel soaps. I know in the past that she's done some black rainbowy soaps. And I wasn't thinking about that at the time. But I have since remembered that she made one. So I want to give her a shout out for being where I first probably saw a black rainbow swirl. 
and so since then I've, I've noticed other people have been making soap this week I promise black soaps I promise I've not seen any of those I did not copy or jump on the bandwagon because I didn't know they exist I'm just over here in my own little world I am not in soap making groups I don't watch soap making videos about the most I get involved is on Instagram because I just think it's a very nice place to be I like Instagram it has been a fun place and so okay let's get into some nitty-gritty for just a minute okay so while we're since I brought up copying I might as well just roll with this and finish it up okay there's copying for profit there's copying because you're new and you just you need you need that help to kind of like spark and open up your creativity so it's the copying for profit that really really irritates me when you somebody takes something specifically they're like oh this person is successful so I'm going to take and copy the exact same scent the exact same design pretty much the same name and I'm going to list it and sell it this is frustrating and then there's the copying where and I would have to put myself into this category where you saw it and you don't remember where you saw it but kind of retained in your memory is hey that's pretty cool but it's kind of like an all-encompassing design like it's not it's not something that is really so specific that it would be unheard of if 500 other soap makers did it you know what I'm saying by that so I consider that to be in this. It's something I saw a long time ago. It evidently just like planted a seed in my mind. But I'm also going to give where I remembered seeing it a shout out. There are going to be times where you can't ever come back and place that. And that's, it's got to be okay. Because we're in a very visual world right now. And my position on copying has changed a lot. Now, if you watch my videos that are not intended to be tutorials, and you go out and you make everything exactly the same for the purpose of selling, then again, I'm still frustrated with you. Because you saw that I was successful at it. But it's a fine line. I'm telling you, it is a fine line. And I think that I have learned to try to step back and say, okay, where have I seen this design before? Am I the originator of the design? Um, never. Somebody probably has done it before and they just are not getting the credit because maybe they weren't out there and so visual. But if you're seeing something and you did something specifically because you saw that person do it right now, kind of like to hit it with a butterfly swirl. You know, she may not have originated it originally, originally, originally. But she's the reason why everybody got bonkers about it. So give her a shout out. Because if you know, that's all I'm saying, if you know. I don't want to create some huge discussion because everybody has a different opinion. And everybody has a pretty dang valid one. That's just how we roll, you know? So, I'm not looking into getting into debates, and I'm not going to debate you on it. If you want to say your piece, say your piece. But I'm not going to, um, I'm just not really going to get involved with it because we have too many different thought processes on it. Everybody sees this differently. I just saw this blow up in, a, in a, the card making world recently. And the person who said it said something very appropriate. And then she had to clarify because people were jumping on her. Don't jump on people. We have different opinions. That's all I'm saying. But I'm saying in this case, if you want to make a Fruit Loop soap because you're frustrated with the fact that the Fruit Loop scent turns tan, and rainbow is almost always associated with Fruit Loops because, duh, Fruit Loops. 
Try this. Try a black soap with Fruit Loops. I didn't create it. I didn't originate it. Well, just, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. But for me, I realized that my personal inspiration likely came from Single Barrel Soap. So I'm giving her the full on shout out for being where my two eyeballs saw it, most likely. Because that's what I remember. So I'm going to do that. All right, I'm gonna quit. I don't intend to do these yammering on situations. I'm not trying to be on a soapbox, which, yeah, that would crush, but you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to do these things on purpose. It's the things that come to my head and sometimes I just say it and then I just have to roll with it. Just see it through. So here we have the Fruit Loops type soap. This is not exactly the same as my fruity cereal because with that one I do mix up pebbles and I did not mix the pebbles in with this one. This is just straight up Fruit Loops type. With a neonish swirl. Look at Epic. Alright guys, I'll see you for the next one. So I wanted to pop in here with a, just a little extra clip to just kind of clarify a situation. As I give a shout out to Single Barrel Soaps because that's where I saw it, more than likely. I have no idea what scent she used. I don't know what, if she even did the hanger swirl. I don't even know if she did the neons. All I know is I remember seeing a black soap with some rainbow colors. So the copying thing, like I said, is just such a fine line. It's such a fine line. And we are gonna overlap sometimes. Sometimes it's on purpose, sometimes it's not on purpose like this. I feel like this was not on purpose, but it still happened. And now I'm kind of backtracking and kind of explaining myself a little bit. I just think this is not one of those things. Be respectful. If you know where it came from, give them a shout out. If you know where you got inspired from, uh, give a shout out. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so I'm cleaning up over here and stewing over what I said and sort of wishing I hadn't said it, but another thought came to me. If you see a soap that is a copy of your soap, I want you to stop. Put your frustration and anger aside. Just stop, just stop right there. Stop, take a deep breath. Consider that we're in a very visual world Consider that people typically at their heart are kind people and they did not do it on purpose. They may not have even seen it from you. You just might have made the same soap on the exact same day and you may not really know this person. Maybe that person doesn't know you but you know them. This happens over and over and over and I've seen it countless times especially with the onslaught of Instagram. So before you get your panties in a bunch and you start getting frustrated, just take a step back and say, probably not even a copy. I'm just gonna let it slide. Just let it slide. Because the fact of the matter is, unless somebody is continually copying your soaps, which I've had that happen before, they copied like 10 in a row, specifically, on purpose, that is frustrating indeed and when I see a copy as I said I get frustrated but stop you just gotta stop and evaluate the situation because more than likely it is just merely an overlap nobody is, is meaning any harm or any disrespect so just try to think that through first now this is the reason why I'm saying this it's because I've been copied and I could be accused of copying and I feel like I'm a pretty kind person and it's never been an intention to copy and I've gotten my panties in a bunch about copying. Anybody who knows me for a long time kind of knows that, that that's my thing. But you grow. You have to grow and you learn and you adjust and you fluctuate and your outlook on life changes based on your experiences and how you resolve them. So, I think I'm done now. I'll talk to you guys later.